utility trailer, six and a half feet, four foot gate, 10 feet long. Trailer gate lift assist. So the gorilla will be mounted here. I'm gonna sand that down and put a coat of paint on there because water will get in between there and rust that tubing out. Looks like someone coming to a barbecue. Oh, you got a beer? Thanks, man. Instructions say they want you to be a quarter inch back on the frame rail. Well, I'm going to include this as part of the frame rail. And the reason they do this is if you're too far back, your cable in the down position on the gate will rub and damage the coating on the cable. When they say quarter inch back from the side rail, they mean a quarter inch back from anything. It's not much. So here's the first issue. The bolt holes right here in line with this square tubing, which means I'm going to have to drill a hole back here to clear that stock. Or you get a real long extension yeah. and go up through here, yeah. which is crazy. You could weld it. Hate to do that. So you get set at a quarter inch. Clamp it, gorilla right side up, slant it, then mark the hole here where you're going to drill. For this end, I'm just going to draw a line since I have to retrofit it. Then slide this one up, clamp, mark the back hole. Then remove this one and mark this one. You got two holes here, half inch drill bit, one back there, and then retrofit up front. Start with a smaller bit. These bits don't walk. You don't need to center punch it. Lining up with the square. This has a lock washer built in so you don't need a washer. Same on this side. Then I'll have to retrofit that front. I'm going to use this square stock as a guide. I'm going to go straight up with my bit through here and into here. I don't think the bit was long enough. So we'll extend it a little bit. Noise. So what I'm doing here, choosing a bit where the square will fit snug to help assist hold that bolt when it pulls down to tighten the nut. 1332.
Oh yeah. Discovered a dilemma. Where the bolt is supposed to go, it clears. But I can't turn it, it's too long to go in there. You can't go up like that because you can't have anything rubbing the spring. You need that round edge. So I'm gonna have to drill a hole big enough here that this whole head will go down through. So I'm going to need a bit long enough to reach the top. That might make it if I get right on the end there. So a half inch was not big enough, but I just reamed it out. Hmm. Got crooked. Need a little helping hand in there. When you bolt this down, align these up nice and flush so the spring doesn't bind up. Half inch wrench. Not Superman tight, just snug. You can tighten them later, a year from now. Oh, that's pretty funny. There we go. <clears throat> I noticed in the back when I was tightening down, that bolt was squishing the square tubing, so don't go super tight. We'll install the spring assembly. This side is already attached. Got a variety of pins. This one's for the gate. This one's for here. That's for the rollers. And you'll notice right here you got a large spring a smaller spring inside this one. And I imagine you could put the pin through both if you want to go through both. You could probably go that route and through here. Or you can spin that spin that around like that and go through but it's a little bit on a bind but I think I'm going to go that route because it seems to center that center spring so you just slide that in go through both I have to pull it back a little push it around right through there and I do believe it shows two washers but that's impossible I don't know I guess two washers will work and then a fancy clip I do believe it just goes in here pull out push around and then it locks into this round thing so now we got some rollers and I believe the instruction says to go this way if I do that, it will hit the gate. Yeah, so I got to go the other way. So there's no question on that. So, put the top roller in first. Nice. Washer. Put the cable in between. And install the bottom one. So I've just made a discovery. They have thick washers and thinner washers. And the center hole is different diameter. So put two thick washers here. And then the clips. So duplicate what we did on this side over there. Then we'll do the adjustments. Next step. Do a little clip, pull a little tension, hook it on. One on each side. Now we're ready to pull the gate.
Whoa, that's tight. That's too tight. So I guess one would have been sufficient, but it's going to wear out twice as quick. Stretch. So let me loosen that up a bit. Bring it down one. Look at that. Cable's actually loose. Hmm. Wow. This is strange. Ooh. Huh. Not quite what we're after. I'm gonna go with one gorilla assist. There you go. It's like I didn't need the other one. bounces right up. So with one gorilla, I can just pull and let it fall. That thing is heavy. That's why I thought I was gonna need two. But one is doing a good job. All right. I'm not sure what to do with this one. Hmm. I wasn't expecting that. I've got them both low and the cable's loose. I don't, I would like to have tension the whole way up. We'll see how it works. Man, it's tight. It's too tight. That is crazy. One worked the best. That one goes in storage. So now we want to mount the bolt for the cable and you want to line up with your hook and I'm going to go a tad higher since it's a new spring it will break in. Easy way to do sizing is read the instructions or line up your bolt the drill bits. That'll work. That'll work. That's nice and snug. 3164. No power! Oh! <laughs> so the way they've got it shown, it's like this washer hooks on here and goes through here. I don't like that because it's, it's pulling like that. If you had square stock, that would work. So I'm just going to put a spacer in here, washer, I'm going to get a shorter bolt later. Because I want this bolt to tighten against the frame. And then I want two more bolts here to keep that cable lined up with these grooves. So, somehow, so I get a shorter bolt and I'm going to get Teflon lock nuts each side because you don't want to tighten against this you want this to pivot so it looks like it needs a little bit of minor adjustments overall this system is easy to install 
but I had to do a retrofit. That was a little bit more work, but overall it's nice. Thanks for watching. Hope this has helped someone.